the back, one of the largest muscle groups in the human body and the main muscle that emphasizes the V taper, making men 9,000 times yes, more yes, yes. Now to grow a big back, the best way to do this is through resistance training. And to do resistance training, you must do exercises. However, not all back exercises are created equally. Today, I'm going to rank all the back exercises on this list on a tier list, ranking them on three factors. Accessibility. Where can you do them? Can you only do them in the gym? Can you do them at home? Or can you do them anywhere? Functionality. Is this exercise functional in everyday movements and activities? And finally, effectiveness. Is this exercise effective at building strength, muscle, power, whatever your goals? Today, we're going to find this out. Thought of it for a while, but I can't put anything in F tier. All the exercises on this list achieve one of these three factors, and I can't rank any of these exercises as complete trash as you to avoid. However, not all exercises are created equally. In D tier, we have two exercises that lack behind the other exercises. These are the chest supported row and cable row. Firstly, is the chest supported row. It's very effective at building strength and muscle. However, it's not very accessible. Again, not everyone has access to a bench or dumbbells, which makes this exercise only accessible in the gym. And function wise, you're not going to be pulling in heavy objects while lying down in bed, are you? You'll never be pulling objects in the same position you're going to sleep in. Next is the cable row. The cable row is an excellent choice for strength and hypertrophy. But again, functionality, you're not going to be sitting down rowing an object towards you. That's not very functional in everyday movements and activities. And accessibility gets even worse. With a cable machine, you need a completely separate machine in order to perform this movement. And again, that's only been found in the gyms. Again, you can buy a cable machine at home, set it up, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, you're not going to find a cable machine anywhere other than a gym. Because of the lack of accessibility and functionality, these exercises are in D tier. Now in C tier, we're going to have something very surprising with the inverted row here. Now, for beginners, the inverted row is an amazing exercise. Especially for those who can't even pull their own body weight yet, the inverted row is an easier variation which allows beginners to work their back muscles. Functionality wise, the inverted row is actually very functional. Pulling your own body weight is very functional as an exercise and movement and is practically used in everyday movements and activities. And accessibility it's very accessible. You can literally do it anywhere. Effectiveness, this exercise is not very effective. For beginners, this exercise is very good. But for advanced and even intermediate lifters and athletes, this exercise is going to be a complete waste of time. It's very hard to progressively overload and the exercise is just way too easy. And there are better variations to choose from later on. So for now, this exercise is stuck in C tier. Now we move on to B tier. And we have all the exercises that could have placed higher but are really only accessible in the gym. And these are the lat pull down, the cable pull over, and the cable one arm row. Lat pull down, this is a great exercise for strength and hypertrophy, but yet again, you can really only do it in the gym. And for functionality, the lat pull down isn't as functional as the later exercises that we're gonna discuss later. And cable pull over and cable one arm row. The reason that these two exercises score higher than that pull down is because it's more functional. You're standing up, which engages the core, and the yes, core is yes, using yes. any activities to stabilize your body, which makes this exercise more functional. However, it's not very accessible. A cable machine really is only found in the gym. Yeah, you can buy one, but not many people have one, and it's not found in the streets. So you realistically, this exercise can only really be done in the gym. Although these all these exercises are great choices, they can only really be done in the gym, which is why these exercises are in B tier. Now we move on to A tier. In A tier, these exercises are amazing choices. They score high in most of these three factors. I'm talking about the T-bar row and the bent over row. Now, not to be confused, but realistically, these two exercises are pretty much the same thing. You both use a barbell and plate and you bend your body from 45 degrees to 90 degrees and you pull the weight towards you. It's very functional because when you're bending your body that low, you're engaging the core. And the core is very useful in everyday activities, making it very functional in order to stabilize your body. For effectiveness, these rowing exercises target the back muscles quite effectively, yes, yes. encouraging hypertrophy and strength. And this exercise is very easily progressively overloaded because you can add more and more plates, which makes it easy to progressively overload. However, one weakness is not everyone has access to a barbell and plates. However, 
A barbell and plates is more accessible than a cable machine. This place accessibility much higher, even though these are two great exercises for your gains. Again, there are better exercises for this, which is why these two exercises are stuck in A tier. And now we move on to S tier. By far, these are the best back exercises in terms of effectiveness, accessibility, and of course, function. And in low S tier, I'm gonna have the power clean. The power clean is a useful exercise for athletes specifically as it builds power. Power is the maximum output of load you can output in a certain time frame. Well, strength in comparison is the maximum load you can output with no time restraint. By moving heavy weight in a power clean very quickly, you're able to build explosive amounts of power, increasing your power functionality wise. In order to move heavy weight very quickly, your body has to stabilize itself, engaging the core and other stabilizers that makes this exercise very functional. And in mid S tier, we're gonna have the deadlift. Now the power clean, although great, is not for beginners. This exercise has actually a lot of risk if injury if not done correctly, which again is very common because this exercise is pretty complicated. However, the deadlift is a much safer option. The deadlift is very effective as it targets most back muscles and even leg groups, making this a great compound exercise. The deadlift is actually a very safe exercise as long as you don't eagle lift. You can progressively overload very easily with this exercise and this exercise is very effective for hypertrophy and strength. This exercise is also very functional as it engages the core in order to stabilize your body during this movement. And again, the core and stabilizers are used in everyday movements and activities making this movement very functional. However, what both of these exercises lack is accessibility. Again, both of these exercises require a barbell and plate, which again, you can really only do them in a the gym. However, this last exercise scores the highest in all three factors. It's very effective, it's very functional, and again, it's accessible literally anywhere. And this is the goat of all exercises, the pull-up. The pull-up is without a doubt the best exercises in general for basically anybody. Effectiveness, the pull-up targets most of your back muscles like yes, the deadlift yes, and power yes. You can use resistance band to decrease the load for beginners and for advanced intermediate lifters, you can use a dip belt and add weight, making this exercise amazing for progressive overload, making it great for both beginners and advanced lifters. Functionality-wise, pulling your own body weight as said before is very functional as an everyday activity, making the pull-up very functional. And since you're hanging from a bar, you're also engaging your core, which makes the pull-up even more functional as the core is used in everyday activities and sports. And accessibility, where every other exercise lacks in accessibility, the pull-up is literally accessible anywhere. Parks, beaches, literally anywhere with a bar that you can pull yourself up to, that is where you can do a pull-up. You can literally do a pull-up anywhere, which is why this exercise scores the highest in accessibility, function, and effectiveness. The pull-up is without a doubt the best back exercise in terms of all these three factors, which is why it scores highest in this tier list. If you enjoyed this tier list, if you want to make your own tier list, you can click the link down below. And if you want to see more tier list videos, click the videos here. And please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't, I'll never upload a single video on this channel ever no, again. No!